Hello guys and welcome back to Rule the Waves 3 with our Austria-Hungary playthrough. In the last episode, just after getting out of war with Italy, we ended up getting offered an alliance by America, which I took. We phased out all of our 300 ton destroyers. We currently have... Well, these things are still here, but there's nobody in them. But we have one, two, three, four different divisions of our 400 tonner destroyers and i did not miss any just making sure we are currently we just got 600 tonners figured out they have two more knots i believe yeah than our 400 tonners they have uh bigger guns and they're just generally an upgrade so i'm getting the first division of those built we're going to kind of fill in the divisions that we miss from the 300 tonners in addition we're making a whole new division of brand new dreadnoughts at 19,000 tons because we need it for the blockade value and to keep up with those that we might be fighting with italy's gone ahead they have double our pre-dreadnoughts right now oh shit that's a lot yeah They've pretty much recovered their tonnage from our war just by building battleships. America allied with them too, which is really interesting. If we get an alliance with them somehow, I mean, that would just kind of expand what we're capable of. But let's go ahead and hit end turn. And Italy wants to buy the rights to light forces torpedo warfare. Um, no. Right? Like, no. <laughs> I mean, this is an interesting way to learn that they cannot build destroyers of even up to 400 tons, but ours can be up to 600 tons. We're keeping that to ourselves. I'm not selling that. I don't care. That's like one more turn of building at full pace. Not a big deal. We are getting diving planes. What? I don't know. But we are getting better submarines. I still haven't built a single submarine, by the way. Never really had a chance to. And also, I looked at those, like, bugs... That seemed like we had bugs last turn where things weren't displaying correctly and our battleship designs got deleted. That was really weird. Definitely seems like it's bugs. We're going to have to turn off two of these battleship uh, constructions right here. Halt construction. Even while they're just sitting here, it kind of costs money. But that's fine. We need to pull back a little on the amount of construction we're doing. And we just need to you know, maximize this first off. And turn and keep going. We are currently still waiting on getting our money back from building these destroyers hell i might go ahead and just build that second group as well oh there's always another commander to assign a protected cruiser needs a commander now we'll give this average max guy who's wily and aggressive i might give him a chance yeah maybe i'm actually not sure let's just give a normal person a chance first why not and then go on into the next turn the Kaiser floats the idea of a gunnery competition for all ships in the Navy he believes this will increase morale and combat readiness of the fleet. Holding it will substantially increase maintenance costs this month. Most of our ships still have high crew quality from the previous war, so I'm just going to say no. I'm just going to say no to that. Spain. Oh yeah, and Spain also, no it wasn't Spain, it was France, got Cuba. Spain was going for the Dominican Republic and we told them no to generate tensions, but... We're too strong. They don't want to fight us. So that's unfortunate. Just going to continue passing time. Great Britain completed. Oh, okay. So the first dreadnought's already here. Yeah, 1905. That makes sense. The BB Illustrious. A disarmament conference is being held in The Hague. What are your recommendations for the delegation? We should not be limited by any restrictions. Gain prestige. Generate tension. Keep up an appearance of being reasonable. Let's just keep reasonable appearances for right now. Uh, but no concrete results anyway, so it's fine. And we're making some breakthroughs in research. Working on getting 700 ton destroyers. Fleet tactics. That's good. That's handy. That's two disarmament conferences with no concrete results. I still kind of wish I took that first one, but... So far, I'm not too mad about it. I'm kind of happy with what we have right now. And it should be, oh wait, no, it's like four or five more turns till those destroyers are done. Those take a while, huh? Okay, well that's fine. Somebody needs a commander. It's an armored cruiser, not just any armored cruiser, our first ever armored cruiser. Hmm, well connected, loose cannon. I don't know actually what all these do. Okay, none of those are actually very consequential. I just looked them up in the manual. We'll just put this above average guy. On this one, this is a pretty important ship. This is usually the one in the front. 
That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? How are relations between the AI? Nothing really standing out. It's a pretty peaceful time. Due to hold a speech at the annual gathering of the Navy League, what would be the gist of your spree? We could try... Hmm. Safeguard our interests. It should be peaceful. Or call someone out. We're definitely calling someone out. Damn it, we can't call out Spain. There's no point calling out Italy at this point because now America's allied with them. So, I don't know who they'd pick, but it might not be me. But if we got into a war, it could bring America into the war, and that could bring Italy into the war. So, let's call out Russia. That sounds funny. Yeah, let's just call out Russia. Budget and prestige? Sure. Why not? Fire control, breakthrough, control tops, accuracy improvement. That's good. Spain's researching. Someone has shown himself to be average. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Got some tensions with Russia. Finally got low intel on Italy. We're just going to leave that there because it took so long to get it to begin with. I'm tempted to lower our intel on Spain, honestly. It's not doing us much good because we're having a terrible time generating tensions. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just we'll lower that. And what we'll do instead is we'll put that point, that money, into low intel on France to maybe get some intelligence, some research from them, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We have a little bit of excess money. So let's go ahead and just resume constructing one of these pre-dreads. And that should be good enough for now. It's the most important thing is getting those pre-dreads out. That's the most important thing to me. Great Britain completed a ship with wing turrets. We could do that too. What, that's it? Oh, wait, what? That's weird. We can now use main battery wing turrets. Okay. Because, because they did it? Is that why? Yeah, we're losing so many tensions just due to the recent war is what it counts as. That's weird. A counter admiral has left the service. That's fine by me. Let's look at that dreadnought that got finished, by the way. I'm actually really curious about that. The first ever BB the illustrious of the illustrious class. 12 11 inch guns. They're winged. Oh my God. Holy shit. That's wow. For 500 less tons than what we built for our pre-dread, 12 6-inch guns, 12 3-inch guns, 4 submerged torpedoes, 12-inch belt. So it's kind of in the same ballpark, but it's more focused on the main guns. Same caliber as us, though. We have 4 11-inchers. They have this many. This is honestly not too different than what we have. Honestly, our dreadnoughts, our pre-dreadnoughts we're making would be equivalent to this. This is a very early dreadnought, and I, I think we could actually stand a chance with the pre-dreads I'm building. That was kind of my goal, and I'm happy to say that I'm pretty sure we can do it. But they already have another new design coming out, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Implaceable. This one might be even better. It's even heavier. It's even heavier, man. And are we still kind of equal? Yeah, we're still kind of equal in our dock size, so that's good. The Kaiser Carl the Six needs a new commander, so we'll go assign it. It's a armored cruiser. We'll just assign it a, here we go, above average Von der Klee. I'm happy with that. Oh, there's something else, actually. It is a protected cruiser. Needs somebody, an above average Von Fernland. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and end our turn. A junior officer of the protected cruiser Aurora missed the last tactical exercise as he was late returning from a golf tournament, which he won. The crew quality of the Aurora suffered as a result. What should we do about it? This doesn't seem to tell me exactly what these do, but we can have him beached. We can get him out of the service. And uh, wasn't that army colonel the favor? I think we'll let it go this time. Um, I don't really know. It's not telling me what these do. I guess we just have him beached and see what that does. I don't really know. Somebody has left the service, unfortunately. Beaching him just seemed to replace him with a new junior officer, just like a random one. So that's cool, I guess. A armored cruiser needs a new... Commander, we got another above average. That's you could kind of feel the quality of our commanders improving as I run my Naval Academy and I'm quite happy with that 
But we're getting very close to 1906. Those five of those destroyers are now ready. New government wants to reduce naval spending in favor of social programs. Let's see. We can protest against it. We can... You are only the admiral. The politicians are in charge. We could try to get it watered down. We don't have any tension. So I'll, and it keeps lowering tensions everywhere. So let's just try to say no. We don't have any unrest is what I meant to say. Temporary setback for 700 ton destroyers, unfortunately. Yeah. America commissioned an AMC. Maybe for a conversion. I don't know. That's fine. Still no unrest. A little bit of tension. Doesn't matter too much to me. We're the only ones that really have remotely high tensions with anybody at the moment. Which is not great, but not terrible. We have a little bit more money to work with. And I'm not quite sure how to spend that yet. It's about a year until three of these battleships are done. We'll just let one more turn go by. Get that destroyer built. There you go. It's built. Southern Korea, Japan is sending a force there to restore order but they have potentially more far-reaching plans. Can tell them to fuck off or just not give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck, to be honest. It's Japan. I can't fight them. I'm stuck in the Mediterranean. Just let them do it. Interview. Asked in an interview which nation you see is the most likely enemy in a future war. What is your answer? I can't pick Spain, even though that's the only person that I want to pick. If I pick someone, we get budget or tension, but I could just say anybody. It's Well, it's realistically Russia, and given our alliance chain... I'll just pick Russia, because what are they going to do? Italy I can't pick, really, while they're allied with America, but it's without a doubt Russia. It really is. So that'll be budget and some tension with Russia. Hull construction. We're close to mastering... Oh, wait. Triple turrets. We've enabled triple turrets, potentially. I think that's what that means. We're getting close to getting the ability to have three centerline turrets, so that will come really handy once we can get dreadnoughts. Hell yeah. Spain can make up to 600 tundra stories. Funny, because I think Italy's not even there yet. Yeah, that tension is hardly even worth worrying about. What is this bar up to? Like 12 at this point? It's kind of crazy. And we definitely have some money lying around. Let's go into the division editor. And the first destroyer division needs some new destroyers. Let's go ahead and assign them. There you go. And so now they're all assigned. We do still need six more to replace the other ones we lost. But I really do want to get those pre-dreads finished as soon as possible. More than anything. So... I think I will resume the construction on the Habsburg because we want that to go as quick as possible. Building destroyers is really fast. These battleships need to be ready to stop us from getting blockaded. The Seda needs a new commander. A oh, fucking sportsman. I'm starting to not like sportsmen. We'll just pick the first normal average guy that we can. There you go. Push it over to the next turn. British government wants to sell us the rights to hull construction, longitudinal framing. We don't have that much money. We don't, we don't have that much money. Um, hmm, that's a, ooh, ooh. you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes to that. I'm going to say yes to that. Even though we're going to be a little backwards on money for a turn. And then just pause the construction of the Habsburg again. Pause the monthly balance. That should be good. That should make up for it. Three ships finished their working up. Three center line turrets enabled. Main turrets on ships. Nice. I'm happy with that. That'll be useful for when we make our first ever dreadnought. When we get the ability to finally make our first ever dreadnought. And we have positive money again. Barely. So we're just going to hold off on what we're building there. Somebody needs a new commander. The Admiral Spawn. Ooh, okay. Ah, oh, still not a lot of options. We'll take the music lover. We'll take the music lover. That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and end our turn. Three more ships finish working up. That's the other destroyers. We lost the commander for our second cruiser division. We do have an above average guy chilling. So actually we got a couple, in fact. We'll just pick one of them. Yeah, definitely the overall qualities of our commanders are 100% starting to go up. We will... Money is going up slightly. I kind of want to end up getting like a spread of intelligence, of just low intelligence, for a purpose of either escalating to get some tension or just for intel, really. And so I, I think I will put just low spies into Russia because we keep getting tension with them, especially. We wouldn't really be able to fight them, but they're ahead of us. 
So, that's something. Something else doesn't have a commander assigned. Is there another division? No. What doesn't have a commander assigned that needs one? What? Did we lose our admiral by some chance? Yes, the admiral that was in charge of the Mediterranean has quit. I never see these things. An unassigned admiral has retired. I think the unassigned just means he's now unassigned. I, I think it's not displaying it correctly. So that was this admiral. So we need a new admiral. It's good because that admiral was actually pretty fucking garbage. He was below average. Now we can get one that is average. Well, I'm sorry. Can I rename this? I think I can. That's weird. But we got a new average admiral. That seems pretty cool to me. Close to mastering torpedo protection one. Oh, that'd be very important for a dreadnought for sure. At this point, these assigned commander things just keep coming up so much. I'm just going to stop commentating them because I don't feel like that's very interesting and it, it's becoming a lot of busy work. Uprising in an African country with great power, colonial ambitions. Naturally, we'll just send a battleship, get budget, prestige, and all that stuff. Just got torpedo protection one. Spain has invented the coastal submarine. We are very close to war with Russia, but again, I don't really mind. We do have unrest level two. Might be having too many budget increases. That went up really quick. It was at zero. So that's like a oopsie. Swap this construction back on because we can afford that for a little bit. Oh, and there's always a commander to assign. This part is such busy work. Next turn. Recent improvements in productivity boosted our industrial production. That's that's good. We still won't be caught up to everyone. Liberal government wants to reduce arms expenditure. Um, That would honestly be good because look at the unrest level. So yeah, I'll let them reduce it a little bit because our unrest level is going up too much. Social reforms passed, yeah. It's going up too much, the unrest level, so we got to get that back down a little bit. We just, like, raised it, and then we lowered it, but I got prestige, which is good. We're at 31 prestige, so having a lot of that. Someone was promoted to a Contour Admiral. Yeah, here it was. It was one of our battleship commanders. He's now a Contour Admiral. We have so many of these. It's good, because we're about to have a whole bunch of stuff that needs it. Let's assign a normal, average guy to it. Seems good to me. We got half a year remaining until we get the first three of our upcoming battleships we got our intel on russia really really quickly got some fire control improvements got some weight savings on turrets that's always good more commanders are being promoted jesus christ man i wish i could you know what i wish i could do i wish i could set parameters like holy shit look at how many i don't remember us having this many commanders just available i wish i could set like oh if this guy retires just try to fill him in with somebody that's at least as skilled as him and then just do that automatically and don't bother me with it if you can manage to do that. But curious to see what's going to happen with Russia there. Improved coastal submarines, better operation range for coastal submarines. That's really cool. The steel industry wants a stronger navy. They want me to convince the Kaiser to increase expenditure. Tell them the navy is not a tool for increasing their profits. I get prestige. Otherwise, it's budget and tension. One more tension would literally probably put us at war with Russia. I'll take the prestige because also we just got unrest down a level by lowering our budget a little bit. So let's go ahead and just kind of leave that be. Just take the prestige. We don't need more budget. We're kind of at the limit. And our unrest is not at zero. So we don't want to fuck around with that too much. We're making progress on the destroyer screen. Now that's actually really important, I think. So I'll be very happy when we get that. Tensions with Great Britain are reducing, but otherwise nothing else really too crazy happening. Two more turns until we can get the first three Radetskis up. So many, I don't even know. Like there, there's not enough junior officers. All right, here's my problem. There's not enough junior officers. We have too many higher ranking officers. I'll just take the first two because I don't know what any of these guys do. And then that should be good. AP projectile improvement. Oh shit, we can make 700 ton destroyers. I wonder if that will actually be worth it or not. This wouldn't be the worst destroyer. 100 more tons and we get one more knot of speed. Same armament, just the two four inches. It tried to give me a winged turret design at first, which is kind of funny. But what I can do now is I can fit two centerline swivel mounts and then one on each broadside. So we can shoot three torps in one direction just all at once. So that would be really cool with the one more knot in the same normal four inch armament, which seemed pretty fine. 205 shots from it. 
This seems like a pretty good destroyer to me. Seems like an upgrade from what we're using. So I'll go ahead and get that one uh, designed for construction because then we can just go ahead and fill in, I guess, the next division with that that we still haven't filled back in because look what's going to be done in one turn. Three fucking battleships. Battleships are ready. A cross deck fire enabled for staggered wing turrets and ships with more than two main turrets. Destroyer screen. Oh my god. So much stuff I have to do now. That war we fought a while ago, it's still getting us some tension reductions due to recent war. I just want a war with Spain, man. That's what I really want. We'll go ahead and we will build... Oh man, look at a lot of my designs are considered like older. Like it's not even showing me a lot of them anymore. We'll build six, a division of these new destroyers we got because we want to fill in another division still. Certainly we'll have the money for that. Yeah, certainly, 100%. And neither of these are halted, the other two. So we need to edit some divisions. So new division, there's going to be a new battle division here. And we're just going to get these in here for right now. Because we're also going to assign a new commander for that. I think it's just the first above average counter admiral that we have. And then all these other ones need commanders as well. We got a lot of good senior officers that are available. A lot with some stats some traits that I don't necessarily like, unfortunately, but I'll just put the most normal possible ones that I can find in here. Now that most of the battleships are done, there are two left. I, I checked to see, we can actually make dreadnoughts now. I'm not gonna rush into making dreadnoughts because I just made some pre-dreads, but I, what I will do is I'm gonna rush into making a battle cruiser. And I've been experimenting with some three turret designs and some wing turret designs, and I'm gonna go the path of the cross deck firing here you can see the angles so probably most of the time we're only really going to bear three of them but if we get directly alongside something you know we'll be able to bear more we have so eight total but you know six uh, guns that should be shooting at any one time because you know double turrets we didn't go triple 12 six inch guns no tertiaries so this is ignoring tertiaries at this point secondary gun protection of four inch turret top of two deck extended deck and upper belt of two belt extended of four and turrets and belt of 10 meaning this is about as armored roughly as our original pre-dread it might even be a little bit more armored technically its firepower is probably higher than that pre-dread overall and what this is fulfilling the role of having central firing what i believe to be enough ammo we'll see coal and turbine by the way which helped me save space is the optimal speed point was really 25 so what i did was i actually i went up because this is 27 is the most optimal i can get without getting ridiculous we're just going to maximize the usage of our docks so 21,000 tons it's gonna be bigger than the pre-dread i just built but that's fine it's only by a bit 27 knots means this will outrun every armored cruiser in the start of the game it will outrun every protected cruiser at the start of the game and honestly it's probably going to outrun all the ones right now at least by a little bit and so that's what i'm making this for i'm making this essentially to what i believe historically these battle cruisers were made to do and that is going to be to defeat in a one-to-one -one fight or even surrounded every single armored cruiser and maybe even below made up to this point at least you know certainly the armored cruisers i don't think there's any armored cruiser that could deal with this eight 11 inch guns that could be shooting at it in a broadside total potentially with the wing design and also 12 six inch guns i think this is pretty good i did have to make a couple compromises here and there but i want this to age well as well as something being made right now with a staggered wing turret design can age of course so i'm gonna save that Short range, of course, still. Everything else is pretty normal. 5,000 up front to develop. It will take four months to get the design ready. So that's that's fine. These two, ba This battleship will be half done by then. This won't be closer. And yeah, just generally, I think we'll just kind of save up money for now and not go very crazy because we're going to want to build those. Because looking at what everybody else is building, the entire world is starting to get their battle cruiser fleets going. The entire world, except me and Spain and Italy, are getting their dreads going. Italy doesn't have these battle cruisers going yet either. So I want to kind of get up there, catch up, 
our protected and armored cruisers are going to kind of start withering away, but I kind of have plans for them. Cruiser battles can be fought by battle cruisers, and this is the era in which battle cruisers kind of deleted armored cruisers out of existence, and that's what we're going to try to get into. This is a main fleet investment. I do have an idea of how to sort of refit, potentially, later, the armored cruisers and protected cruisers that we already have to accomplish different roles, but we'll see. Right now, this is what we're going for. In addition, I went into the divisions and I set every single destroyer division to screen and I set the protected cruisers to support because I think that would be more accurate as to how I would try to use them. Well, I should take this opportunity to build up our dock size a little bit more over the next year because we have that kind of leeway of money. Additionally, the others have started expanding. Someone else I know has a bigger dock size at this point. Uh, well, Great Britain, it was just America. Now it's also Great Britain and France and Japan. So yeah, we got We want to keep up ideally. What does, what does Spain have? 19,000, I'm amazed they're actually keeping up. That's crazy. And in terms of relations, Germany and Britain are close to having a war again, which is hilarious. But let's go ahead and end our turn. 50 million, so 50,000 funds have been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not build a battleship, you may become the focus of some displeasure. Um, what do you mean by that? America wants to sell us the superimposed B turret. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, sure, because my research sucks. I'll take that. Fire control, 9-foot rangefinder, gradual national accuracy improvement. Woo, turrets and gun mountings. A lot of stuff being discovered. That's good. But now, I'm really confused by this. Must have 3B... BB or BC building evaluated in four months. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I'm glad it told me that. I did not imagine. I thought it would just want me to build one battleship. Well, in three months, we'll have this. These two will still be building. So, theoretically, right? All I need to do is wait for this to finish, start building these, and then that will count. Right? I think so. I'm pretty sure. We have a lot of money to use for that. So I guess we'll just save it up for that purpose. Intel reports the Russian Navy has a majority of their heavy ships in active status. What should we do? Probably conducting annual maneuvers. Don't fret about it. Send a note suggesting they reduce their stance in the interest of peace and stability. Mobilize our major ships in reserve. I'll just send them a note. I'm kind of curious to see what happens from this. They react badly to our note. U.S. government wants to sell us tech torpedo technology larger torpedo warheads yeah sure we're keeping up in tech just by buying a bunch really that's why i'm just keeping on like 10 percent normal research seems to work fine as i say america increased secretly increased naval expenditures why is that a secret what makes that a secret exactly it reacted badly but tension's like nine and it looks like it can go up to like 12 at this point i don't really see this as being that big of a problem i don't know incredibly spain is catching up to us in total fleet tonnage which is really incredible i don't know if that's counting my totals entirely i think it is including in construction but we're good we just got some nice money to spend on the construction of battle cruisers so we'll be able to kind of fix that soon however we have a nice full episode so in the next one, we'll continue where we'll start getting our first ever battle cruisers building and we'll have all these pre-dreads finished. So, hope you guys are enjoying how this is going. It's March 1907 and I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>